for the record, yeah. for the record, for the record. Yeah. All right, welcome to week 15 of the NFL season. Last week, I hit two back-to-back thousand-dollar teasers, and I finally dug myself out of this hole. I'm currently sitting plus 320 for the season, and we're gonna keep this going as the season goes on. Now you know what teams really are. And especially during this time, week 15, week 16, teams are playing for playoff seeding. So now you have these big, crazy spreads and there's going to be teams that are playing for something versus teams that don't care at all. So it's time to capitalize on this time of the season. So let's get right into this. Thursday night football, we have the Chargers at the Raiders, minus three and a half. The Chargers have nothing to play for other than pride. So I'm going to go... Vegas here, even though it's three and a half. And then Saturday, we have actually two games on Saturday. We have Buffalo at Denver plus six. Buffalo just won AFC East. They really want to carry this momentum, especially after beating Pittsburgh. I'm going to go Buffalo here. Next, we have Carolina at Green Bay minus eight. I'm going to go Green Bay here as well. I know that's a high spread, but Green Bay is another one of those teams that they don't have a long history of consistency, especially the last few seasons. So they really want to carry this all the way to the postseason. Next, we have Tampa Bay at Atlanta, plus five and a half. Tampa Bay is trying to get that wild card spot. They're playing for something. Atlanta's completely out of it. So I'm going to go Tampa Bay here. Next, we have San Fran at Dallas, plus three. You say Dallas doesn't have much to play for. However, Andy Dalton is trying to revive his career, and he has all the weapons to really do it. So I'm going to go Dallas here. Next, we have Detroit at Tennessee, minus 11 and a half. There's one team that's going to the playoffs, another team that's completely out of the playoffs. I'm going to go Tennessee here. Houston at Indy, minus seven and a half. I'm going to have to go with Houston here. I think seven and a half is slightly too high. Next, we have New England at Miami, minus two. I think Miami's going to crush the Patriots. However, Belichick's been doing pretty good this year against rookie quarterbacks, so keep that in mind, right? Next, we have Chicago at Minnesota, minus three. I think Khalil Mack is going to cause some problems for Dalvin Cook, so I'm going to go Chicago here. Next, we have Seattle at Washington, West Coast team going all the way to the East Coast. I still think Seattle has got this. Next, we have Jacksonville at Baltimore, minus 12 and a half. That's a big spread. This has trap game all over it. I think that they're on a high from last week, beating the Browns on Monday Night Football. So I'm going to go Jacksonville here. We have the Jets at LA Rams, minus 17. I think this is another one of those trap games. I'm not tied down to the Jets. Anyways, we have Philadelphia at Arizona, minus six and a half. Philadelphia, you just don't know because they're going to play Jalen Hurts. There's not enough data on him yet. So he could do something crazy. We have Kansas City at New Orleans, plus three. Drew Brees is coming back, but I think Kansas City is a way better team. Next, we have Cleveland at the Giants, plus six and a half. The Giants defense has been playing really well. However, James Bradbury, their best cornerback, is going to be out with COVID. And the very last thing, we have Pittsburgh at Cincinnati to close out the week, plus 13. Pittsburgh's on a two-week losing streak. I think Cincinnati is going to be that team to be their punching bag. This being the last game of the week, if you can guess the winner and the final score, comment below. I'll give you $500 if you guess it right. And then my three bets this week, I'm going to do the Chargers and Las Vegas over 52. These two teams don't have solid defenses. I'm going to go 1,100 to win 1,000. There is a bit of juice on there. That's why you get the extra 100. Bet number two is going to be a two-team teaser. You got Green Bay minus two, Buffalo pick. with $1,000 on this. Bet number three is going to be another two-team teaser. I'm going to go Tampa Bay and Seattle, $1,000 on this. And then I love this week because there's a lot of great setups. You can potentially do a two-team teaser with Indy and Arizona. However, that's a little bit risky in my opinion. But I love when spreads sit around six and a half, seven. And then I got bonus fourth bet for you guys. It's going to be a three-team teaser. A three-team teaser, you get 10 points off but there is 20% juice. So $1,200 to win a thousand. I'm taking Tennessee minus one and a half, taking Baltimore minus two and a half and Pittsburgh minus three. For the rugged, for the rugged. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.